Well, yesterday, Detroit City Council President Charles Pugh admitted that he failed to file campaign finance records for the past two years. Today, Fox 2's Charlie Leduff finds another discrepancy in Pugh's record keeping. It involves his city owned vehicle that was damaged last year. What'd you find out? You know, Monica Huell, uh, we now know that uh, Mr. Pugh is not very good at keeping track of important dates. After all, he missed a filing date that's required by law not once, but twice. But I have a particular date stuck in my head. It's February 5th, 2010. The night he crashed the city owned vehicle, causing significant damage to the car. He provided very few details on the crash to the public who owned the car. Perhaps we'll never know what really happened, but I thought I'd ask anyway. It just doesn't add up. We told you yesterday how someone was using Charles Pugh's ATM card to his campaign funds like it was a gumball machine. He says it wasn't him. Who was using this card? Uh, Jillian Seaman is her name. You better, she, you better have a discussion with Jillian here. Uh, absolutely. That, well, if, if we can track her down. We tracked her down to Washington, D.C. She called Pew a liar. Going through those campaign finance records, I noticed the withdrawal from February 5th, 2010 for $200. I remembered that's the evening Charles Pew said he cracked up his city-owned Crown Vic. It made me curious. So under the Freedom of Information Act, I requested records about the accident and the car. Here's what Pew told the public then. Next morning, I reported it. I don't drink and drive. I had not been drinking. You're looking at photos taken of Detroit City Council President Charles Pugh's city-owned Crown Vic. He crashed the night of February 5th, but according to police, waited three days to file a report. Hmm. Friday, February 5th. That's curious because I got this document from the city garage. It says they towed the car away on Thursday, February 4th. A day earlier. So let's review. Pew said then that he crashed the car on a Friday. The city came and towed it away on Saturday. And then he went and told the police about it on the following Monday. But records show he got the car towed away the previous Thursday. So how could he be driving it on Friday? Confused? Me too. So I went to ask Pew what happened that night. An answer he never fully gave us then. Could it be a bureaucratic mistake? Well, let's get this clear now. What happened? That's the, that's his taxpayer's car. What date was it? And what were you doing? So what are, what are you asking me? I'm asking we, you. We've answered these questions about the accident. And so what are you, what are you I'm asking? I'm asking, was it, was it the 4th? Was it the 5th? What day was it? And what were you doing? The day I crashed the car. Yeah, what date was it? Was it the 5th, like I, you told the police, or the 4th, like... You told the city, just to get a story straight about public property. There's a discrepancy, right? There's a discrepancy, and you don't know why. No, I don't. For the life of me, I don't know why our leaders in this area can't keep their records straight. And they do have staff members. If they can't do it themselves, I assume they have people who can. And that's why we pay them on the public dime, really. That's what a staff's for, keep it clean. But no indication that anything illegal was going on. There's no indication. We can't. I can't keep can't anything get any straight. Straight answer. It's a. It's a murky. And in this time, it's time for that to be over, isn't it? Well, they keep calling for transparency. All right, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Keep looking. See you tomorrow. Thank you.